Hey there, Lynn Allen here. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. All right, I hope you're having a great week so far and you're catching some sunshine finally. Here in Portland, Oregon, the sun finally decided to come out. And uh, two weeks ago when I shared the last tip with you, it was snowing. So I am very, very happy about that. Now, a while back I shared with you a tip that had to do with this amazing one-stop shop for dimensioning, this dimension tool, and I hope that you are using this tool. If not, go back and check out that video, because I find when I do my tips and tricks seminars, a lot of people aren't using them, and it saves so many picks and clicks. Very, very important. But I'm gonna dive into this tool just a little bit deeper and show you two things that you can do in this tool, which I think are also gonna save you even more picks and clicks and help you save time and be more productive. So I clicked on the one stop shop dimension tool. It takes me into this mode called dim, this dim mode. And very simple, right? All you do is move your cursor over any object you want to dimension. It shows you what that dimension is gonna look like and all you have to do is place it. It doesn't get any easier than that. All right, but look what I did. I just overlapped a dimension. I just upset my drafting teacher immensely. But that's okay because AutoCAD knows that you're really not supposed to overlap dimensions. And it comes back and it says, you know, specify how to handle overlapping dimensions. You can move away, you can break up, you can replace or none. Is it just me? Or does it sound to me like the programmer that wrote this tool might have perhaps been going through relationship issues? I'm just saying. <laughs> so let me show you what happens if we decide to move away. You can click on the move away, you can type in an M, whatever makes you happy. You'll see that the dimension that I placed, my new dimension, it wins, and the other dimension had to move away. All right, so you got custody of the house in that situation. Let's do this again. Let's do another, let's see what else, what else this particular tool has to offer. I'm gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing. I'm gonna just land right on top of this dimension. I'm overlapping it and it gives me the same options, but this time, let's say break up. Let's do a B for break up. And let's see what happens there. Oh, so it did, it broke up that continued dimension, right? And it placed my new dimension right in there. How convenient is that? How long would that take you to do? You'd probably have to erase the dimensions and start all over. That's gonna save you some time. We like it, we like it. All right, I'm gonna undo that one. And I'm gonna, once again, I'm gonna select this object here. I'm gonna put it right on top of this existing dimension. And let's try replace. What happens when you replace that dimension? The other continued dimension went away and my new dimension won. The other one's out. You replaced it with something better. <laughs> I love the options in this particular command. I call it the divorce options, but I'm just saying. All right, so I don't think I need to tell you what none does. None's actually gonna, it's gonna leave it the way you put it. So if you overlap the dimensions, it's gonna, you say none, I want you to leave it exactly the way it is and upset my drafting teacher. AutoCAD is more than happy to let you do that. All right, so one other th tool I wanna show you in here, I'm gonna jump over to a different drawing file. Have you ever been in a situation where you have a bunch of dimensions that you wished were evenly spaced, but they're not, and you don't want to try to, you know, ad lib them yourself? There's a couple of tools in AutoCAD that will help you do this, but I really like the way this one-stop shop for dimension tool does it. Let's go back into dimension, and you'll see that there's this option for distribute. You can do a D for distribute, or you can click on it. Now, I would like those all to be distributed equally or evenly. I don't even want to have to think about it. So I'm going to use the equal option, but there is an offset option where you can tell it specifically what you want that distance to be. I'm going to say equal. I'm going to let AutoCAD do the work for me. And then all you have to do is select the dimensions that you want to distribute. This one, and this one, and this one, and this one. And then I'm going to hit an enter. And then voila, AutoCAD figured out a good distance for me. They look pretty. Once again, my drafting teacher is happy because that's all that really matters in the world. And that was once again done in that really cool dimension tool. I love it, I love it. Distribute, the distribute option. All right, so I hopefully you found a couple of powerful, cool tools inside of this dimension tool. Hopefully you'll give them a try. I'm just trying to help you be more productive, helping you to be the CAD guru in the office. And uh, I hope to see you back here in two more weeks. Thank you so much for joining me. Joining me.